we ended up in Mexico as owner of a 44 feet trimaran. The boat is in need of loads of attention and some wanted features. We have now been here more than five months, which is way longer than two to three months we first planned. Probably we'll be here for another month or two. The boat work has been tough, both day and night and during rainy season, which thankfully is over by now. Sailing as Plastic is a project where we focus on plastic issues in the ocean. But right now we are putting our energy to the boat. We fiberglass the projects we showed you in the last episode. One thing's for sure, we have not had much time off the boat since we got to Mexico half a year ago, so we thought it was time to leave for some vacation. Looks like you're heading somewhere. Heading to Guatemala. Uh, it's... Guatemala? Ooh. Well, what about the boat? Oh, we can stay here in Mexico. When it's out, I think it's okay. I don't think it's gonna miss us. I think no, we, we need to be on our own for a couple of days, both of us. Well, we've been here in Mexico for 180 days now, and that's what, you, what you're allowed to stay here, so. New stamping passport. It is early. It is early, yeah. I haven't really woken up yet. It's about quarter to five. Our bus leaves from Tapachula at 6 o'clock. The bus ride to Guatemala City took us about 8 hours. Then we had to change bus to Antigua. And yes, it was one of these famous chicken buses. Loud, spitting out dark smoke and very crowded. Well, at least after a while. So right now we are looking for the, <clears throat> the place where we are booked to stay. Are we there soon you think? Oh yeah. It's a gated community, so I don't know if we're allowed to enter. We'll see how that works. Yeah. It's an Airbnb place. I like that. You look a little bit cold. It is super cold. <laughs> like it's under 20 degrees, so then it's cold. <laughs> That's super cold. Yeah, it is. Well, you can see. Yeah, I have socks. I have my flip flops. And you have. I have. 40 t-shirts, I think. Long sleeve, flip-flop, socks. Well, yeah, now it's time for breakfast. This is how Karen looks like when she's looking for something. What are you looking for? Good breakfast place. Breakfast place? Yeah. What's the name of it? Yo, yo. Jojo? Mama's yeah. breakfast. Oh, I haven't seen it. But I'm getting hungry. I want some breakfast. Like we can't go home already, it's just been two nights. <laughs> yeah, the boat is just screaming our name. Where are you, Carrie Andreas? You have to finish me. He'll be okay. He'll be okay. I'm in the coldest place on earth, I think. <laughs> Compared to some <laughs> I don't know what it is, maybe 16 degrees? So this, this, and this. Enjoy your breakfast, guys. Thanks. So international here. Yeah. They speak English. <laughs> yeah. They speak English. It's good. We can't practice our Spanish here. I try, but then they say, oh, I speak English, so. <laughs> because they know it's so bad at Spanish. The laziness is getting up. Now it's a pretty cool uh, place, this here. It's an organic farm. Yeah. 
of course, probably run by some expat. to your shopping I thought you was gonna buy and I thought you were gonna buy something me too but I didn't have enough money <laughs> you poor that's, girl that's a good trick to try it like mm -hmm. I only have this amount <laughs> but she would let me yeah did you believe did she believe in you <laughs> yeah I can let her have a look in my purse yeah but uh, I hate bargain so okay I might go take up some money and Right. Or not. Time for some exercise. Going up to a lookout. And of course, you have to walk up there. <laughs> Already exhausted. Karen says so she's always behind. Welcome to the top. Wow. Nice view. Yeah. It wasn't too bad walk up here. No. It wasn't the just beginning it was a bit steep but that's worse places I guess. After two nights in Antigua, we wanted to see something else and headed towards the famous Lake Atitlan. Another chicken bite rust which took us about three hours. And what can we say? Lake Atitlan was so beautiful. It's just too bad, it's dying because of us humans. And next... We're gonna go down to the lake, find a boat taxi to see a nice little village. Oh well, Santa Cruz. the boat! Santa Cruz, I think it's called. Let's, let's go! Let's go! Where are, where are we? San Marcos. San Marcos. Um, the hippie place? Hipster place. Hippie or hipster? I think it's hippie. Hippie. <laughs> we'll see. You can do yoga, have massage, have your chakra analyzed. Have a good well, I'm hungry now, so let's go for lunch.
pan de banana? Sí. ¿Cuánto cuesta? Para la ¿Es de con coco o Esto, banano con coco está bien. Banano con chocolate. Y canela. Uh, ¿Qué tal? Ok. Home. Time to go home? Yeah, I um, think so. Or I can stay longer if you like. But... You want to go home and finish the boat now? Yeah, I want to really... I guess it's time. We left on a Monday morning. Today is Friday. And tomorrow we don't know. 6.30. 6.30? It's so cold. I think it's mostly because it's so, so cold. Nah. I'm getting used. I'm getting used to the cold. Thing. But of course, I like the the weather down in Puerto Madero better. Yeah, we do. So let's let's head to the. Oh no. Let's head to the blah blah blah. Travel agency and office. Travel agency. Yeah. And, and buy, buy some tickets. tickets. It was time to leave Guatemala and say bye to vacation. It was nice being away, but now we want to finish the boat. So, let's go. The bus should pick us up any minute. Where are you? Well, they say it can be dangerous here in Guatemala and seems like our bus had experienced that at one time, but thankfully not with us in the bus.